What is life without our moments of celebration? To celebrate who we are, who we are with, and how far we have come. The last few years have put a lot of things on hold, but today is a new day and we are going to make the most of it. On this show, you'll follow four stories and our journeys to mark major milestones in our lives. We captured it in YouTube Shorts to share all of the ways it can look when you live your life out loud. My name is Gunnar Detheridge, and I am a content creator on YouTube. I am from a tiny little town called Hanover, Indiana. I think that coming from such a small place, like I just felt like there were so many limitations, particularly being like in the queer community. I moved to Los Angeles where I worked with a team that was working on music videos for like the world's biggest pop stars. The pandemic hit and I remembered that I had a closet full of fabric and I started sewing again. I started sharing the process on how my garments were created. We're back, working on this dress form today. The social media just blew up and I gained a following that I never thought I was going to have overnight. It looks good. It is incredibly surreal to even be at the point in my life that I'm at. I don't take the opportunity for granted. I like it. I feel like I like to put as much joy into the world and creativity into the world as possible. I've just worked really hard and I feel like I owe Young Gunner a little bit of inspiration. And so we are going to take a trip to Europe. Hi guys, I'm Trey Howard. And I'm James Davis. Originally from Houston, Texas. I reside in Dallas, Texas. I am a interior stylist. I am a fashion stylist, born and raised in Fort Worth. I am so excited to be here doing what I love, which is fashion. We were thinking about what we were gonna do for his 25th birthday. I've never been to New York. Once we knew that it was fashion week and my birthday, we really want to take it and run with it. We plan our outfits to fit the vibe of where we're going. Let's look at the schedule. We're doing the Anastasia show. That's a 20 designer show, uh, showing their collection. So we got two fits. We got this like edgy street style. And then we have the Mugler inspired one. They both street cute. style, I love. You know, I can do that any day of the week. I think wearing the Mugler is gonna cause conversation. What better way to celebrate his birthday than mingling with the who's who? Oh my god, I am now in the Uber and on my way to the gig. I'm excited, I am nervous. Uh, oh my, is that powder? Uh, it is powder. Uh, I'm so nervous. Hi, I'm Monistat. I'm old enough to be your mom and your dad. Oh my god! What's going on? Hurry up, come on, let's go, let's go. And uh, today's my birthday. So I decided to have a big, big birthday bash. Starring my chosen family, of course. This is my gorgeous friend, Miss Mabel. You inspired me to be brave enough to show up today. I'm honored to be here. Yeah. All right. We're gonna have an amazing time here at my drag show in the heart of West Hollywood. Hurry up. Duh, I'm a drag queen, hello. So why not celebrate with a little fun? Ready with my 200 most intimate friends. Is it okay if we have a drag show? Hi guys. Hi. I'm Haley. I'm Kendra and we're Haley and Kendra and we're on our way to California to celebrate our five year anniversary. So fun fact, um, our cats know when we're leaving because they always get in our suitcases. But what makes this anniversary so special is we just got married. So we got married back in May and we're super excited to like celebrate this anniversary because not only is it five years together, but you know, it's our first one as wives. Hmm. We're gonna need a swimsuit. Yes, I have my green swimsuit, so. We're so excited to see the ocean. We live in Missouri, so this is really, really exciting. Maybe we should bring two. Definitely. Let's hit it. We all have such different personalities, unique moments to celebrate, and big plans to match. Hold on, someone's at the door. But what happens when our plans transform into experiences? Will they live up to our expectations? We have made it to Paris. 
day one. We're gonna go some sightseeing today and get some fabric. It's funny, I found this note that I had written myself in 2019, like a manifestation list of goals. The only thing not done on this list was this European trip. I have always seen Europe as like the pinnacle of all things fashion and architecture and inspiration for me. I think experiencing this trip with my boyfriend is also going to be incredible. He loves Europe. He's very passionate about Europe. And so the two of us have really just planned this trip out to be a magical experience. I think Chris is just as excited to see Europe through my eyes as I'm excited to see it through his. We're gonna get fabrics and friends. I feel like this trip is a celebration of all the things that young Gunner wanted to do and never thought that he could. I think we're like the first gay LGBT out of Dallas to even come to Fashion Week. The paparazzi are gonna be out. We're well on our way to being iconic. We wanted to change before the shows just because we knew that photographers are going to be outside of these shows. I think it's super admirable and dope that we are here in New York, finally seeing the fruits of our labor. For us, being black, being gay, being men, being under 30, I think we have a point to prove. And then we walk up and they're like, do you want to be a part of Oak? Y'all have 15 minutes? Yeah, like, yeah, we got 15 minutes for <laughs> Absolutely. Vogue. Absolutely. We got an hour for Vogue. Going and meeting the who's who of New York, actually being in those Zooms with people, seeing them in action, it's obtainable. It's possible to have this lifestyle we've always dreamed of in the fashion world. I am so, so stressed out, you guys. I'm here with my good friend Carlos. He's also my stage manager. Oh, wait, it's backwards, it's backwards, it's backwards. I have to put all this bullshit on. Okay, let's do this. The shoes are so high. I've been rhinestoning and sewing for the last two days. Drag is kind of a lot, and thankfully Carlos is here to help me out. My girl Allie's here with some shots for us. Cheers. It's very important to celebrate with my chosen family because as queer people, we create our own families. And it's important to have people who support you and support things you do, and in return support them back and love them back. Wet. Yes. Go get ready, get out of here. Red is the color of passion and joy, and it's an Asian tradition, and we always wear red on our birthdays. Oh my God, let's get the show started. There's this cute, bubbly little blonde, and I feel like you were like skipping past me. And I looked at my friend at the time, and I was like, that is, I have to go say hi to that girl. I, I have to. I said, you know, I used to chase butterflies as a kid, but here you are giving them out for free. I really liked them. That. That's sweet. That was I very sweet. I love to see pickup lines. Talking about growing up in a nuclear family, I didn't even know that it was even possible to have another relationship with a woman and, you know, until I went to college. And then I was like, ah, oh, this makes a lot more sense. For me, it was like overcoming one of the biggest fears of coming out. Because whenever I struggled internally knowing that I was queer, and I was like, oh my gosh, what is my mom gonna think? Like, is my dad gonna be upset that he never gets to walk me down the aisle? For me, it's such a huge milestone personally to get married to like my best friend because like I overcame all those silly little fears in my head. So that's what it means for me personally. I love you. I love you. It's easy to get swept up in the day to day and forget to give ourselves the credit that we deserve. But we can have this feeling on a more regular basis by celebrating those small victories. Anything can be a celebration. All you have to do is squeeze every ounce of joy out of where you are at the moment. Very pretty. I feel like I've been dreaming about Europe since I was a little kid. I think that everyone sees the visuals of Italy and of France and Paris in particular. Prague. I've also really wanted to go to Prague. I feel like Prague is like the epicenter of beautiful architecture. And I love how fashion and architecture just go hand in hand. So we made it to Milan. They are setting up for runway shows behind us. It's officially fashion week here. This feels like the pinnacle of art and fashion, especially during a fashion week. Oh my God, little dresses. I feel like this is such a big milestone for me in my career and in my life. 
As a fashion designer that's like fully formed, but still discovering parts of himself, I want to experience what the world has to offer in terms of fashion and architecture. Sometimes, you know, you have to like fill your own cup up before you can fill everyone else's up. And I think maybe I'm at this place where it's time for me to explore and just kind of get inspired again so that I can continue practicing and giving back in a way that I love to do. I'm happy that I could be with somebody that understands a dream, dreaming. And us dreaming, I think it's gonna get us far. It's gonna get us so far. We work so hard. We do. We work so hard. And I think, like I said, it's the fruits of our labor. And we just gotta breathe and just like really put our feet to the metal. That was one of my goals to get inspired and that's definitely happened. I think we've studied their aesthetic and tried to match our looks with their aesthetic. I think today with the show is a lot of emerging talent. Because, you know, Chanel did, started somewhere, Gucci started somewhere. So it's great to see the emerging designers and also have a platform from them as well. Agreed. <laughs> Come on here. Bye. Hi, I am Monastat's daughter, you guys. And we're celebrating Monastat's birthday! All right, let's bring up our cast. Mabel Unstable! Cloud! Mahalia Nakita! All the way from San Diego. Give it up for Miss Vanity Jones! for coming to my birthday. Oh my God, I'm here at the bar, the show is over. Let's go see all the girls now and do a toast. Well, I couldn't have done this without all of you guys. Thank you guys for doing this. Uh, all of you have been so spectacular. It's been such an amazing day. Cheers to that, girl. Cheers to that, thank you guys for coming out. Thank you, Valerie. Yes. Okay, we made it. We're here at my favorite beach on our anniversary. Okay. I think that there's a lot of queer kids that don't think that they can have a happy, healthy relationship, unfortunately. A lot of the queer representation up until more recent has been less than healthy. So I think that it's really, really amazing to feel like we get to show what real life is as a queer couple. As a young queer kid, you're not always told that you can do things that other people can do. And so I think that it's really important for us, and I know that it would have been important for me to see a happy, healthy lesbian relationship that goes out and does fun things like going to the ocean. Milestones like this are for everyone. There's nothing, nothing more magical in this world than loving someone else. Absolutely. Love will always be in. When your special moments are winding down, Reflecting on what you've just experienced can fill you with so much gratitude. It's the takeaway gift you get for free. All dressed up. Let's go have a dinner. Living out loud is such a crazy concept, right? I think I am from such a small little place and at the time felt very homophobic. Um, I never felt comfortable being openly gay and openly flamboyant. And obviously like I'm a very flashy human being and so I think living out loud for me is embracing all those small little facets of ourselves, right? We're all little diamonds and every one of us have little facets in different parts of our personalities. Living out loud is learning to let every one of those facets shine. Allowing yourself to shine in any environment and not having to disguise yourself for the sake of somebody else's comfort. This is our last day in Paris. We're gonna have coffee and Cute food. If my story can let others know that that can also exist for them, that's all I want for the world. I just want people to know that you can live happily and like freely and find exactly what you're looking for if you search really hard for it and don't give up. Never give up. I think we did what we came here to do, which is experience the shows, experience what it is to be in New York during Fashion Week. I almost feel like uh, I have imposter syndrome. Am I good enough to be here? Are we good enough to like be in this space with these people who do so much? Now that I've seen people doing the things that I want to do, yeah. I think it's definitely been some inspiration for sure.
with James and I showing our love through our fashion, it kind of turned over a new leaf for us. Seeing all the runway shows let me know that it's obtainable to have like this super cool fashion life. It's been a long journey. What a fun one. I'll definitely do it again. My face hurts from all the shaving and burn, but we're gonna look as beautiful and as wonderful and as lovely as we can. Mwah. Oh, jeez. Yesterday was important because, not only because it was my birthday, but it, it opened some doors for a few of those performers. Drag is about community and family. I think it's important for us as queer people to have our own space. As a community, I think we need to celebrate us. And celebrating us means giving each other the space to do what we do best and to do what we are capable of. Hi guys, we're here at Disney for we're so our excited. five year anniversary and first anniversary as wife. I think that it's really, really amazing that I get to have a legal wedding, whereas a lot of queer couples didn't get to do that. Here we go. My moms didn't have the ability to get married when I was younger. They had a civil union and that was all they got. Princesses, gotta put on my ears. Hopefully it inspires other people to be true to themselves, to be authentic, and love whoever they want to love, outwardly and openly. And be really, really proud to live their life. All is well. You're doing great, babe. I just don't know how we're going to top it next year. But that's the best thing about anniversaries. They come around every year. I can't wait to celebrate next fun with you, then. We're so excited. This is my gorgeous friend, Miss Mabel. You saw us prep, plan, and bring our celebrations to life. You inspired me to be brave enough to show up today. I'm honored to be here. Yeah. All right. Now let these stories be an inspiration for you to make room to celebrate your moments. Feast on your fashion. Take your stage. And fill up your cup with love. Take this inspiration back to your everyday life and get out there. Share your stories and live out loud. Let's make something together. <laughs>